Hi. Now, if you need revision on histograms, then I think this is quite a good question to try because it's tricky and I haven't generally seen many questions like this in the past on the papers. So, if you'd like to give it a try, just pause the video and come back when ready and I'll run through the solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Well, what we've got here is a policeman records the speed of the traffic on a busy road with a 30 mile per hour speed limit. And he records the speeds of a sample of 450 cars. And this histogram represents the results. And we've got two parts here. First part, we've got to calculate the number of cars that were exceeding the speed limit by at least five miles per hour in the sample. And then we've got to go on and estimate the value of the mean speed of the cars in the sample. Now, you should be familiar with the fact that the frequency is proportional to the area of the bars. So if we're looking for the number of cars that are exceeding the speed limit by five miles per hour, that is going to be a total of 35 miles per hour because the speed limit is 30 miles per hour and we've got this five miles per hour here. So that's going to make 35 miles per hour. And that means that we're looking for essentially the areas beyond the 35 here. So it's the area of that block and the area of this block. So we've got to think about how many cars are represented by this area here. Now when I look at this graph here, we've got no scale on the frequency density axis. Quite often we have a scale there. So how am I going to approach this area a bit? Well, I know that the total area, as I say, should come to 450. And when I look at these blocks, I can see that they're mainly made up of squares like this. All right. So I'm going to take one of those squares. We'll just sketch it in here. All right. Square that size. And I'm going to try and figure out how many cars an area of that size represents. So when I look at this first block, I can see that I've got one of those squares and half a square. So I've got 1.5 of those squares like this. And when I look at this block here, I can see I've got two by one, two, three, four, five, six. Six twos are 12. 12 of those squares in there. And for this block, we've got one, two, three, four, and then half a square there. So that's going to be 4.5. And then for this one, well, it's going to be the same as this one over here, 1.5. And for this block, clearly 3. OK. So when it comes to that area, let's just work out what that area is. When we add up 1.5 plus the 12 plus the 4.5 and the 1.5 and the 3. So this total area comes to 22.5. So if I want to work out how many cars this square represents, okay, we could say cars per square equals, well, I've just got to take 450 and divide that by the area here, 22.5. And what I find I get is 20, okay? 20 cars then for that. So this is identical to 20. So if I know this area here, 1.5 plus 3, a total of 4.5, then all I've got to do is do 4.5 times 20. And so therefore, for part A, we can just say the number of cars, let's have a little intro, okay, exceeding okay 35 mph well that's got to be equal to 4.5 times 20 4.5 then the area of these two blocks and each block stands for 20 well each square that should be is 20 cars 4.5 times 20 comes to 90 then 
Now, in part B, we've got to work out what the mean speed is. And to work out the mean speed, what I need to do is work out the total speed gone by all the cars, and then divide that by the total number of cars, 450. But when it comes to working out the total speed, I don't really have the actual speeds of the cars. I've got to make an estimate, and that's why we've got this estimate word here, because in this block here, I have got 1.5, which times 20. In other words, I've got 30 vehicles. Let's just put that at the top here. 30 vehicles are represented in this block here, traveling between 10 miles per hour to 15 miles per hour. So what I've got to do is take the midpoint between 10 and 15, 12.5. So I'm going to say that I've got a total speed here for the 30 cars of 30 times the midpoint, which is going to be 12.5. I'll do it in blue just so you can connect it with the numbers here. How many vehicles here in this block are represented? Well, we've got 12 squares, each of 20, so that's going to be 240 cars. Let's just put 240 up there, okay? 240 vehicles, and I'm going to assume that they're all going at this midpoint value of 25 miles per hour. So we would add to this 240 vehicles going at 25 miles per hour. And then to this, we have to do much the same for each of these blocks here. So the number of vehicles in this block is 4.5 times 20, which is 90 vehicles. So we've got 90 multiplied by the midpoint here, which is going to be between 30 and 35, 32.5. And then plus, for this one, how many vehicles in this column? 1.5 times 20, which gives us 30 vehicles. 30 vehicles going at the midpoint between 35 and 40, so that's going to be 37.5. So just put that there. And lastly, how many vehicles in this last column? 3 times 20, which is 60 vehicles. And we take the midpoint between 40 and 45, so that's going to be 42.5. So this is the total estimated speed of the 450 cars. All we do now is divide this by 450 and work it out. We find that we get 28.83 recurring. Okay, so that's how you do that one. A bit different from what I've seen, as I said earlier, from other questions. But hopefully you're able to follow it if you were struggling with it. All right.